Is religion still relevant in the modern times in which we live? Is there still a place for religion in a modern society living in the 21st century? Is religion still important? Well, that's our topic for today on the Iglesia de Cristo International Edition. Sitting in on this week's discussion are Brother Jojo Bayani in San Francisco, California, Brother Anthony Brandon in Toronto, Canada, and Brother Delvin Blanco in Chicago, Illinois. Hi, brothers. Hello, brother. Hello, brother, Hello, brother Johnny. Dear brothers and dear viewers, studies in recent years have shown that worldwide, more than 8 in 10 people identify with a religious group. A comprehensive demographic study of more than 230 countries and territories conducted by the Pew Research Center's Forum on Religion, Public Life, estimates that there are 5.8 billion religiously affiliated adults and children around the globe, representing 84% of the 2014 world population of 6.9 billion. And that can be read from an article posted at the website pewforum.org on the global religious landscape. However, something has been occurring in the religious scene, not only in America, but also in other parts of the world that should catch our attention. And what is that? Let's watch this video clip. They're not passing judgment on religion, but they are saying that it's dying out. That's according to new research published in the U.S. It says nine Western countries are losing their faith, naming Canada, Australia, Switzerland and Finland, among others. Now take a look at Catholic Ireland here. The no religion category were, in 1961 was 0.04%. And look at where it is in 2006, 4.2% in the no religion category. Let's check out the Netherlands here, 40% today. And look at the number by 2050, more than 70% of people over in the Netherlands will say that they have no religion. In the US, Yes, now, that's an interesting one because the census doesn't really ask too much about religion, so the researchers there don't have enough data to predict what will happen. But check this out, no religion is actually the fastest growing part of the population in the United States. Let's have a chat with our religious affairs contributor, Richard Green, to find out what is going on. Are people just fearing God less or they don't care as much? I mean, how did these guys even predict this, Richard? Well, these guys are not talking about what people believe, why they do what they do. What they're doing is they're analyzing the trends. So they've got numbers from the census in these nine countries going back 100 years, and they show a very clear pattern. In all of these nine countries, over time, more and more people are drifting away from religion. So what they're saying is this is a trend that's going to continue, and given time, religion will simply die out in those countries. And why those countries? Is, is there something particular about them and not others? Well, it's a question of where the data is available. These nine countries have the information available. The census has been asking people what their religion is. Many other countries, the census simply doesn't ask, so they weren't able to do the analysis there. Richard, one of the interesting things was actually the influence of social media and, and social media networks on the no religiousness of some of these countries, right? That's right. One of the assumptions that these guys are working with is that you're affected by your friends. It's, you see it on Facebook. They say if you look at people's friends on Facebook, you can predict their politics, their religion, their income. So what these researchers say is, look, if you know even a couple of people who don't go to church, who don't go to mosque, you are more likely not to go yourself. And the more people you know who are not churchgoers, who are not religious, the less likely you are to continue going yourself. Turns out there's a seismic shift going on here in the United States. In a country founded largely by Christians seeking freedom of religion, the percentage of Christians is falling and more people are exercising freedom from religion. A Pew report out today says that in the past seven years, the number of Americans who don't belong to an organized religion has grown by nearly 20 million. Here's Dean Reynolds. As anyone who wanders into church these days can attest, organized Christianity is declining in America. While nearly eight out of 10 Americans called themselves Christians in 2007, the number is now just over 7 out of 10, a drop of 5 million adults. 85% of American adults were raised Christian, but today nearly a quarter of them no longer identify that way. I can do well without it, I feel like. 
27-year-old account executive Mike Crothers was once a regular worshiper, but when he left home, he left the church and became one of 56 million mostly young, unaffiliated, agnostic, or atheist Americans. It's a group whose median age is 36, by comparison to 52 for mainline Protestant adults and 49 for Catholics. Now that I've grown up, I don't live with my parents, I am busy day to day. I don't choose to go to church or anything like that at all. Are your friends uh, similarly disinclined to go to church? I would say so, yeah. Catherine Crino oversees Catholic education for St. Alphonsus Church in Chicago. It's not a death knell, it's, it's a signal to, for opportunity in a sense. We have to be on mission and we just can't expect people to wander in without us doing anything. And there is plenty to do. According to Pew, for every convert to Christianity, there are four Christians who have left the faith. And the survey said the decline has taken place in every part of the country, Scott, including the Bible Belt. Dean Reynolds in Chicago tonight. Dean, thank you. All right, brothers, we just watched those two video clips talking about people leaving religion or organized religion. What are your reactions? Brother Anthony, if we could begin with you, please. Well, Brother Johnny and viewers, you know, when we hear such numbers as those, it is quite alarming to, at one point, you're seeing there that we had 8 out of 10 people in the world who were actually affiliated with some sort of religion, and now they're seeming to just leave for no apparent reason. And especially with the advent of social media, where people seem to be disengaging from one another, it seems that the trend is also that they're disengaging from any type of relationship or even trying to be close to God or to our Lord Jesus Christ or to any kind of you know, real spiritual life. So, yeah, that's really alarming, brother. Uh, Brother Delvin, uh, on your part, what would you like to share with our viewers? Uh, I agree with uh, what Brother Tony said, uh, Brother Johnny. And uh, it seems that uh, people are affected by, just like what the interview said, by their friends, uh, even if they were brought up in a family that was at a time, you can call it uh, actively serving or very religious, when that one um, one that was interviewed said when he left his home, when he left his parents' house, uh, he didn't feel a need. He didn't feel a need to be spiritually active or, or, or be intact with the Lord God. And it's very alarming indeed, Brother Johnny. Uh, Brother Jojo, how about you, please? Uh, Brother Johnny, it seems that for some, like uh, the person that was interviewed earlier, that when he was still living with his parents, he was going to church, he was uh, religious, uh, quote unquote, but when he left uh, his home, when he reached adulthood, uh, he said that he got too busy uh, for religion. So there may have been a time when he was, uh, you know, very excited, uh, maybe an active attendee of his church or religion, but, but time came that uh, he was, uh, preoccupied with other things, which is really uh, not a good sign as we, we can see the world and the views regarding religion shifting uh, to, uh, to a negative uh, end. So dear viewers and uh, dear brothers, it's clear that many people do not regard religion as being that important to them, which is why they left whatever religion they were brought up in or stopped attending their services. Now, Brother Anthony, if we could begin with you now. Is religion insignificant in modern society? Is religion irrelevant for those who live now in the 21st century? Should people just lose faith and walk away from religion? Well, no, Brother Johnny, in no way should they walk away from religion. In, in fact, let's read what the Apostle Paul taught us here in the book of 1 Timothy. In chapter 3, in verse 16, this is recorded for us. No one can deny how great is the secret of our religion. So if we notice here, it is important for us to have a religion. Even during the time of the apostles, they held on to the greatness and the value of having a religion. 
For others, where they seem to have lost the value in religion, it really begs a question of why. Why is it that they no longer see religion or being worshippers of any sort as something that's of value to them today? You know, for us and for the apostles, it was something that was really needed. It was a part of their lives. And it should be the same way today that we understand just how valuable it is for us to be religious. Well, you know, brothers, one thing that I noticed in the verse that was read is that the apostles did not say to the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, our religions or these religions of ours. What they said was our religion or this religion of ours. This shows that the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ back then were not scattered about in various religious organizations, but were all together in only one religion. Now, Brother Delvin, considering the number of religions or churches that do exist in the world, which religion is the one that the Apostle Paul refers to when he says, our religion or this religion of ours? Well, we'll allow the Apostle Paul to answer that question, Brother Johnny. We'll read in 1 Timothy 3, 15 and 16. But if I delay, this letter will let you know how we should conduct ourselves in God's household, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and support of the truth. No one can deny how great is the secret of our religion. The religion that Apostle Paul refers to here when he says our religion is the church of the living God, the pillar and support of the truth. So Brother Johnny, it's very clear that the apostles had a religion. They were a part of a religion and that religion that they belonged to was very, very important to them. Now, Brother Jojo, others might say that they agree. They accept that the apostles and the other early disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ had religion, that they were in a particular church. However, our viewers may be wondering, why is that religion important? Why is the true religion or church vital? It's good that you pointed out uh, and you specified the true religion and its importance, Brother Johnny. This is what the Bible teaches us here in 1 Timothy chapter 6, and the verse is 6. Indeed, religion with contentment is a great gain. What is it that the apostles teach us about religion? And Brother Johnny, and to all of our brothers, and to all of our viewers listening and watching our show right now, we're talking about the true religion, of course, the religion that was taught by the apostles. The Apostle Paul specifically said, religion with contentment is a great gain. So if one happens to belong to the true religion, then that is a great benefit to that person. If anyone should happen to teach then that true religion is not important, is misleading others. Understand what the Bible teaches. If you are in the true religion, then you will have great gain or great benefit from it. Now, Brother Anthony, others might ask, why is there great gain in the true religion? What is gained in the true religion and what is lost when one is not in the true religion? Well, brother, let us quote from Webster's Third New International Dictionary. Volume 2 says this, Religion, from Latin religion, religio, reverence, piety, probably from religare, to tie back. So why is there great gain in religion? Because if we have religion, we are bound or tied back to our Almighty God. In other words, there will be a connection again to our God. Without religion, we have no connection to God. And perhaps that is one of the reasons why there are those that are finding that religion is of no value to them because their religion is not really tying them back to God, so they don't receive any benefit, and therefore they decide to stop going. 
Well, Brother Delvin, why do people need to be tied back or bound again to God? What have people done, which is why there is a real need for religion on our part? And how can people be tied back or return to God? Those are very good questions, Brother Johnny. And uh, we hope that our viewers are uh, paying close attention because we all need to be tied back to our Lord God or we all need the true religion. Here is the reason written in Malachi 3, 7. But you never obeyed my laws. Even your ancestors stopped following me. Come back to me and I will come back to you. This is what the Lord All-Powerful said. You say, how can we come back? Our question was, dear friends and viewers, was why do people need to be tied back to the Lord God? Well, according to the Bible, people never obeyed God's laws and people stopped following the Lord God. So in other words, it is because of the sin that people have committed. So because of the sin that people have committed, dear viewers, people need to come back to the Lord God. And the truth is, ever since uh, the time of Adam and Eve, Brother Johnny, uh, since the beginning, mankind has fallen into sin. And because of this, it is written also in Isaiah chapter 59, verse 2, that because of sin, uh, people have become separated from the Lord God. Now, does the Lord God want mankind to remain separated from Him? Well, the answer is no. That's why in the verse that we read, Brother Johnny and dear viewers, the Lord God Himself said, Come back to me. If mankind will come back to Him, God also says, I will come back to you. And that is why religion is very very important. Not only any kind of religion also, Brother Johnny, but the true religion so that man can return to the Lord God. Well, Brother Jojo, what if a person chooses to ignore the true religion, thus remaining separated from the true God? What fate awaits those who disregard the true religion, thus not ever being able to return to God, and then the end of the world finally comes. What will happen to them, to those who are against God? This is what the Bible teaches us regarding that matter, Brother Johnny. In 2 Peter chapter 3, the verses are 7 and 10. And that same word of God is keeping the skies and the earth that we have now. They are being kept to be destroyed by fire. They are kept for the day of judgment and the destruction of all people who are against God. But the day when the Lord comes again will surprise everyone, like a coming of a thief. The sky will disappear with a loud noise, everything in the sky will be destroyed with fire, and the earth and everything in it will be burned up. We see that the apostles here are showing us exactly what will happen to people that the Apostle Peter said are against our Almighty God. Who are the people who are against God? Well, those who are not in the true religion, those who are not tied back or bound again to our Almighty God. What will happen to the people who are against God or the ungodly? The Bible says they will be destroyed by fire. When will that take place? according to the same apostle, the apostle Peter, on the day of judgment. And so we must understand that if we want to avail of the reward on the day of judgment, that we must belong to that true religion that is being taught by the Bible. If anyone says that religion is not important, then they are lying to the people that they are teaching, the people that they are preaching. It is important then that we understand religion, true religion that is, is extremely important, especially on the day of judgment. So dear viewers, we have seen so far in our study that the true religion is vital, that there are great benefits to being inside the true religion. 
that one of the things a person gains from being inside the true religion is he is able to come back to God and have a proper relationship with Him, and that if one is not inside the true religion, by the time judgment day comes, he will end up destroyed. The true religion is significant and should be searched for and embraced once found. But others don't like religion. They even speak against it. Should that surprise us? That's what we'll talk about next as the Glesha Cristo International Edition continues. Stay with us.